man is hot. But let's go fish. Hey, what's up, gang? Welcome back to another episode of Clinton Hill Cat Fishing. I'm out on the river today and it is high. So I may have to rethink my fishing spots, which is fine, but hang with me. We'll see what we can do with this. All right, gang, finally got set up. I had to settle for something a little closer to where I put in. This current is really humming today. So anyway, I'm using a giant white perch head on my other rod identical to this one up on the front right big perch head it's probably about a, you know, a little over a pound perch and I'm gonna put a perch body chunk on this one and I'm gonna fish one bobber with shad off of the right one bobber with brim off of the left and all this is fresh caught bait from yesterday so I got good bait got good spot of course as many y'all know sometimes the fish spread out when you know, the water gets a little higher like this, but I ain't scared. We'll try it. For those of you that like to talk gear, I got me two Slime Cat five foot six. Uh, the reason I got them, they're perfect for the kayak and the price was discounted. Somebody was getting them to me for a discounted price because they were getting uh, some more rods. Got rid of them, so I thought they'd be perfect for the kayak and I think they're gonna be. I'm just ready to test them out and hang a 40, 50 pounder. With it. That'd be a good idea or a good plan rather. Um, but we'll see. So two slime cats, I got Ancient Mariners uh, 6000 series on the front. And then right here I got uh, 7000 Abby Garcia. Got a big cat fever, medium heavy 7.6. So I'm gonna give that a shot, y'all. See how we do here. Put a bobber on this bad boy. I would love to hang a big one today, y'all. That's kind of every day, but whatever. Catfish Bobber. Again, these are uh, James Smith, Patriot Catfishers of America. If you're looking for some, they're good bobbers. I'm sitting in seven and a half feet. So I think I'm gonna pop this one. Somewhere's in here. He's got these set up so if you put a sinker slide on here with beads above your swivel, you can just put that swivel that's on the bottom of the bobber right in it and you're golden, man. Got a bobber stop up here. So there we have it. I just put a little slinky weight on there with lead shot in it. And that seems to do the trick pretty well for me. That seems to be right where I want it. Let's bait this puppy up. I'm swaying so badly right now. I wish I wasn't, but can't much help it with this wind and the heavy current. I'm kind of in a swirling eddy right here, which is also not a bad feature on the river. Here, bitchy, bitchy, bitchy. Want to see a big slam of a takedown, man? Take one about that size. I'm just gonna cut him right about here at an angle. Stick him on the hook. So I got some big baits out front and then throwing some smaller baits out front. Hooking him right through the mouth. Send him on down. Go hunt now. I'm gonna set this one. I got this one set up with a 6500 Abu and it's a Whisker Seeker. Uh, this is a heavy power 7.6. I'm gonna throw this one out in the current with a bobber and I'm just gonna kind of free line, so to speak, down through these rocks where I know there's some flathead over here. Just see if I can do any good on them. I may move a couple times tonight, but I don't wanna go down too far down river and have to try to get up river in the dark current this heavy in case it doesn't let up 
Try to minimize the risk factor when it's getting dark. Things can get weird in a hurry when it's dark outside. I think I'm just gonna put a whole one on this one and free line it on down. Using eight aught circle hooks. So you know some circle hooks are a little bit bigger or smaller than others. These are not huge ones. The gap is good on them. That's all I care about is having a nice gap on it where that guy can get hooked up good. Can't be a more natural presentation than that bobber going down that river like that. the afternoon and evening and I'm not sure yet this is my new uh, slime cat here so we're gonna see how this guy is performing it feels like he's got some weight but it's really hard to tell in this current and with a new rod just not sure all I know I am glad to hook up y'all feels like a nice fish there he is. Can't tell how big he is yet. Looks like he's wrapped up or something. This is a fairly big body chunk I had on this one, so I'm hoping it might be a nice flathead. He hadn't come to the surface once. It's a flatty, yep. Not a huge one, but a good one. This current is evil right now. Hoping he's hooked good so I can get him in. Woohoo! He swam straight upstream like a bullet. Oh, come here, big boy. This current's tough now. I know, I know, I know. Good flathead. There he is. Nothing wrong with that. I'll take it. Good to catch a good flathead. All right, guys, let's get him back in the water. All right, buddy. Oof, and off he goes. He was ready, buddy. That fish took off. All right, let's get that bait back out. I think I lost a bait. I'm not sure. I can't remember. All wrapped around my transducer right now. There we go. No, it wasn't a body chunk. He took the head. We'll stick that one back out there. That head's still good. Broke the slime cat rod right in. Five foot six. These are medium heavies. Just right for fighting a fish in this kayak. Current is moving, boys and girls. 
I'll show you this. There's a good bit of volume coming down this river right now. It's about 10,100 CFS right now. So this is a heck of a lot of current to be anchoring in, but I found kind of a current break right here in the middle of the river, uh, which is a little risky, but I'm pretty familiar with this stretch. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick it out unless I, the water keeps rising and I start feeling uncomfortable. Every time the anchor catches, you know, you're, mm, it's just rocking back and forth. A little creepy feeling. I'm not worried about whether I can swim to shore or grab my life jacket from behind me and float over there to the boat ramp. I'm pretty close, but I don't want to lose my gear or my life. All right, gang, so I'm going to call it, but it's been, hey, that's a fish. That's a big fish. Holy shnikes. All right, guys, that took the big head and he just crossed all my lines in heavy current. Oof, if I can get under this guy. He is taking drag off of Abu 7000 here. I know some of that's current, but not all of it. Look at that. Yeah, this old big cat fever rod is straining. This was a pretty large perch hit. I don't know how many of y'all fish big cat fever rods. This is a seven foot six big cat fever, the black one. And the Abu 7000 fits on this thing like a dream, man. And it casts like a dream. Ooh, check him out now. It casts like a dream. I was just doing my outro. And that sucker peeled this rod around, felt the kayak moving around to the side. And I was like, what? Ooh, I better loosen the drag just a little. Oh yeah. Oh, he feels good, y'all. Man, this might turn out to be a two fish trip instead of a one. That current makes it really hard to judge how big this fish is, but he feels like he might have some weight on him, so we'll see. Ah, oh, I can't wait to see him. Like I said, he took a nice size perch head. Oh, there's another fish, I'm doubled up. Nope, that one let go. See if he comes back. I don't know why that one didn't hook up. This fish here is giving me, oh yeah. I don't wanna horse him too much and rip his lip or anything. This ain't easy horsing this guy in 10,000 CFS. Oh, ain't done yet. The line wrapped around its fin, which is concerning me a little bit. Easy now. It's not a huge fish, but he ain't a small one. It's definitely a fight in this current, boy. I'm gonna tell you what. Let's see if I can get the fish grips on him. Trying to clam up on me. This ain't easy. We'll get that hook out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guys, that was worth every minute of it there. All right, he's talking to you a little bit. That's a good fish, y'all. All right, let's get him back in the water, y'all. Nice fish. Oh. All right, big boy. Let's get you back. Boom, there he goes. Down to the depths. That was a chat's cat's quote, but I stole it once. Man. Yeah. That was a good day. I'm happy with that. I actually think he crossed every single one of my lines. There's the problem right now. 
Holy moly. All right. This is Flint Hill Catfishing with a giant mess signing off. I'm leaving for real now unless I get another bite, but thanks a lot for coming along. That was a blast and a great way to wrap up this evening. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you on the next one. He paddles his kayak in the dark. Big wheels keep on turning. Brown Mary keep on burning. Rolling, rolling, rolling on a river. Bow, 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 bow. Freaking blue heron just scared the poop out of me. Holy mackerel.